Well guys, this is Eklund Genwin, and today I'm going to show you how to play PSP games on your Samsung Galaxy J5, J7, or any Android device that runs Android. So first off, what you, have to, what, you, what you need to have is an OTG cable. You can either get it from Samsung, but it may cost a bit, or you can buy it from Tech Shop, which will cost $2 or so. And then <coughs> you need of course a phone. Once you have that, what you have to do is, is to download PSP games. And the file type should be ISO in order to run on your Samsung Galaxy J5 or J7 or any other Android devices. So what I'm going to do now is already downloaded some games on internet and I'm just going to quickly attach it to my computer so that I can drag the files to my device. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly allow the permission so that my computer can access my device and you can drag it to your SD storage if you don't have any space left. Okay, so I just dragged some games on Samsung Galaxy J5 through SD card. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to Google Play Store and then I'm gonna download PPSSP. Yeah, you should download this game, guys. Press install. Continue. Once you see the downloaded application, launch it. Then what you have to do is, is to press this bar right here that says give PPS as PP permission. And then allow and that should do it. Now go to games tab. If you have to direct your games on SD card, then what you have to do is, is to press this arrow up until you are in the root directory. So now what you have to do is, is to locate storage. So there it is, press storage, then press this code, then scroll down and then you will see the games which you have downloaded. I downloaded Dragon Ball, no, Naruto Impact 3 and Ratatouille. So I'm just gonna play Ratatouille quick. And you can either use the soft keys or you can use your joystick to play on it. And this is a PSP games guy. It's not a fake. So let me just do it quick. Let me just soft keys quick. Controls, then yeah, here. Press continue.
practices. So there are a bit of black, so I'm just gonna fix that quick. So on modes, just press skip buffer effects, scroll down, frame skipping, press two, then go down again. Disable slower effects. Actually, leave that alone. Enable that. And that should do it. Now, let's just see if there's a difference in terms of performance. So now I'm gonna play a different game. So let me just exit from there and go to games again. Then I'm gonna press number two. bit of lag so I'm just gonna change that setting again just to see if there's a difference there let's hope there's a difference there so let's continue. Use the X button to jump. 